Good afternoon, Coach Randy. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm doing great. What's on your mind as you prepare to participate in your first tournament as Falcons coach? Well, probably the two biggest things that come to mind is uh, thinking ahead of the importance to qualify. You know, the World Cup qualification is always been the goal. Uh, as much as we want to win the AFCON uh, championship, uh, the most important thing right now is, is qualifying. Uh, and then the other thing a coach always is concerned with is preparation. You know, are we getting enough preparation? Are we getting things done the right way? Have you prepared your team well enough for the tournament with, with all the games the team played, you know, from Canada uh, to the U.S. Summer Series to the games in Turkey and, of course, the qualifiers, the Aisha Bwari Cup? Do you think your team is well prepared for this tournament? Well, yeah, yeah I, think, I think we've uh, prepared... Uh, well, in regards to those games, I think uh, we have to credit the president for giving us the opportunity to play those matches and to take those trips and have those camps. I think the one difficulty that we've had a little bit in, in those different events, the, in Turkey and in the U.S. and in, in Canada and so forth, is I never felt we had a, our entire best team there together. Um, so I am a little concerned that we haven't had the best team together uh, at one time over the year, but it did give me an opportunity to look at a lot of young players and some new faces to bring in to the team uh, because obviously that's going to be necessary uh, moving forward um, as this team progresses. Uh, we need some new young upcoming players. So that part has been good, um, but I do think in this camp we've had most of the top players and we've got ample time to, to get ready for the first game. So overall, I'm pleased with, with the, the past year and the preparation that we've had. Okay, L let's look at, you know, the list of release. Do you think you picked your best 25 players for the tournament? Well, absolutely. We'll feel like we've, we, we've, uh, we've selected the best, you know, that we, we have to choose from. Uh, the good thing is we've got a, a good staff that has... Um, you know, has been working diligently to make sure that we um, uh, get the best selected players for this particular event, and um, and we feel like that's going to happen. Are you confident of your attacking options? Yeah, you know, I think we've we've over this last year we've found some new some new blood with players like Ifioma, um, Esther. Now, unfortunately, Esther is injured and and, and won't be participating. Uh, but young players like Vivian that we brought into the team is playing extremely well. So we feel like we've got a, a lot of good options. You know, um, Gift Monday is superb in the, in the um, professional league here this past season and is playing well as a young player. Um, so I think we've got a lot of good options. Having Asisat back healthy has been a big plus. Uh, I'm excited about the young player, McLean's. Uh, that's playing in Poland right now. So I think we've got a lot of attacking options to choose from. Uh, and we have a lot of players that can interchange. You know, Rashidat, for example, has been playing in midfield for us, but we could play her up front if we need. Tony Payne is the same. So I think we've got a, a really good uh, attacking uh, qualities within our team. Uh, so, yeah, I'd, I'd say overall I'm, I'm really happy with that. What do you think about the group the Falcons are in? You know, and especially your first game against the Bayana Bayana of South Africa. Well, I, I would answer that two different ways. One is we have to remember the last African Cup of Nations. Nigeria lost to South Africa. They opened their first game and then came back and won in the final. So I think, yes, that game we understand is very important, being the first game. And those three points would be massive to get that result. But we also have to understand that regardless of the result, we're still in the tournament to advance. And there's a, a very, even if we win the game, there's a very good likelihood you could play them again in the final. So we, we, we put weight on the South Africa game, obviously, uh, but we, ha we have to understand the way the tournament works. And um, we can't just lose our way if that game doesn't go well. Now, having said that, you know, I go back to the, to the game in the Bashari Cup and that was one of the events where I felt like we didn't have our best team there, uh, especially in midfield. We, we didn't have, you know, our top midfield players in, and that's such a key against a team that can keep the ball like South Africa. Um, and then I also look back, if you, people will remember, we scored an own goal five or six minutes in. We gave away a soft penalty kick to go down two. Uh, 
Uh, we had a goal called back uh, on a foul that I didn't think was a foul. Um, you know, so we didn't climb back into the game early. And then we, we gave another penalty away late. So three of the four goals I felt like we brought on ourselves. So I think we learned from that, right? You're not going to win every game. And I think, I think we learned from that. So I, I think we'll be much, much more prepared uh, for them this time. Um, and we're looking forward to it. I, I think it's, you know, they're, they're a quality team and we respect that. Uh, but we still like, feel like that uh, we're the best team in Africa. How are you preparing for the tournament's atmosphere? Morocco is also the best of African teams, and of course, a lot is expected. Well, I know the excitement is different than other parts of the world, obviously, in Africa, and I'm excited about it just to see some of the um, fan support that we've had, even at, at, at uh, Ghana in the away game uh, and the home game, and then Ivory Coast. You know, I, I think we've knocked off two very, very good teams in order just to get here. So I think we understand playing a big game. But I think the fan support is going to be great. Uh, my first time to Morocco, so I'm excited to see it. And, uh, uh, but, you know, hopefully the crowds will turn out in, in, in large numbers to see uh, the quality of football that these women are playing throughout Africa. What do you think about the campaigns, you know, on social media for the tournament, for the team? You know, we've got hashtag we count on you, hashtag going for 10, which means the team is targeting a historic 10th title, and of course, uh, the usual Soar Super Falcons hashtag. Well, I love that first one, we count on you, and that's, that's great for the supporters to hear because we need their support. Uh, I can't tell you how much the supporters in Ivory Coast uh, was was so so uh, instrumental in us winning, you know, to, to drive us on to winning. Uh, so they're extremely important. I, I love that. And then obviously the, the goal for 10. What, what was it? The goal for 10? Going for 10. Going for 10. The 10th. That's right. I think that says a lot about the mission of the, the team and these players is to raise that trophy for the 10th time. And then your last one. So are Super Falcons. So yeah. So are. You know, that's. That's been the history of the Super Falcons, being the best, being the best in Africa. And that's what we were encouraging our players to do is go play, go express yourself, play with freedom. Don't be, you know, don't, uh, don't play tight and tense. Let's go do what we know we do well. Thank you very much, Coach Randy. We wish you good luck in Morocco. Okay, thank you very much.